हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लर्निंग सेशन ऑफ द अजूर एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द अजूर स्टोरेज दिस इज द सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट द शेयर एक्सेस की फॉर योर स्टोरेज अकाउंट सो यू नो बेसिक क्वेश्चन व्हाई वी रिक्वायर्ड द स्टोरेज एक्सेस की एज वी ऑलरेडी हैव एक्सेस के फॉर योर स्टोरेज अकाउंट so best practice is that you know if you want to uh, share uh, uh, some access on your storage account so in that case uh, you can you know create the uh, shared access key and provide that key to the uh, end user or object or you can you know provide the uh, sas key to your application so that uh, using that sas key your application can be uh, access to the storage account so let's uh, me uh, let me explain you one more scene take the example of this like you have one uh, uh, application that is running on the azure and uh, what are the data required for the store uh, this application that is uh, place on uh, this storage account and uh, uh, you have one, one more virtual machine uh, on your network that is responsible to upload your data into the storage account you have one network policy here where you have mentioned that uh, from this particular uh, vnet uh, people can access the storage account now again take this covid situation right now uh, the developer is not available in a uh, same network so that in uh, in that case uh, there is some bug fix or uh, some upgrade for your application and uh, this developer want to upload his data to the um, storage account over the internet but due to this network policy he will not able to access your storage account so in that case uh, we need to know we have to know provide uh, him as an uh, access for your storage account for the particular uh, particular given uh, time so uh, you can provide a uh, storage access key uh, for the resources you can uh, in a resources you can you know assign it to the object you can assign it to the containers and uh, you can assign it to the service so as it is the share access key so basically we have to you know provide what what kind of access you need to provide so you have to specify the access then we have to specify the uh, duration for access. let's move to the portal and we can see uh, how we can you know, configure it you have to know uh, uh, move to the your storage account and from the storage account you have to specify uh, the uh, shared access signature you have to know click here so that uh, you will get the option to configure the share access key let me click on uh, this setting and once you click here uh, you will get the prompt uh, to create the uh, shared access signature so uh, this is very straight forward console uh, like uh, in a first uh, part we have to mention that uh, uh, allows the services for which services you want to provide the access is it blob is it file queue or table according to that you have to you know, select here on the first uh, um, first part the second part is that we have to you know, specify the resource what kind of resource is it is it services or is it any container or is it object then provide the appropriate permission as per the requirement like uh, what kind of permission that you have to specify for this particular uh, storage account and then you have to specify here the uh, start time and the timings uh, along with the end times and uh, the end time so that this particular storage access key will be valid till the time of this uh, 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 time set you have specify so next uh, here you, if you have to you know, specify uh, any particular ip range or network uh, for this particular access key so you can you know, specify here and next option is that uh, allow protocol so uh, it support to the https protocol and http and https uh, both protocols at last you have to specify that from which key you want to create this uh, sas key like you know from your primary key or a secondary key so that uh, you can you know, specify those key here and you have to uh, uh, click on the generate so let's configure it so i will uh, take it uh, example like you know i have to go 
upload the file on uh, file shares and it's for the object level of permission and i'm specifying here uh, the access for the uh, uh, for uh, start from today and it will be end uh, tomorrow at the same time and uh, I, I, here i need to specify the ip range so currently i'm not going with any ip range here and uh, just now you need to know uh, click uh, on the key from primary key you require to generate this uh, uh, size key or from the you know secondary key so i mean you know in this case i'm taking it the primary key and click on the um, generate uh, size connection string so it will generate the connection string uh, for you make sure that you have to copy all this detail uh, because once you uh, once you know go away from this particular window this key will not be uh, accessible for you like you know you cannot uh, note it one more thing as of now there is no any solution in on azure portal that uh, you can you know find out how many sas key you have created and what are the validities for that particular sas key so uh, make sure that when once you generate the sas key you can note down this string for that and you can you know specify uh, somewhere notify that you know what are the time period uh, for what time period you are going to, uh, you, you allow that particular sas key to access on this uh, your storage so uh, let's try to access this storage account using this uh, uh, sas url uh, let me copy this sas url and i will open the storage explorer just connect on uh, click on the uh, connection button uh, here you have to specify the sas url then click on the next here you have to specify the sas url link then click on the next click on the connect so uh, i see here uh, your file share is uh, um, connected and if you uh, extend it so your data folder is uh, available let's try to create one folder here so let me create a folder with a directory name new yeah it's created in a storage account let's move to your uh, storage account and see that uh, that particular storage uh, folder is created or not let's navigate to the file shares your data folder and if you see here on the review page uh, this uh, new folder is present so that's it for this uh, lesson uh, we will uh, catch up uh, in the uh, next uh, lesson thank you so much guys